An offensive party sparked in Wrigley Field. Your Miami Marlins top five plays coming up right after this. My name is Kevin Barral, your Fish Straps intern. Make sure to like and subscribe, follow us on the channel and all our social medias for more content like this and our Miami Marlins um, pre uh, pregame shows an hour before the start of each new series. The next one will be on Tuesday against the Toronto Blue Jays, an important series for the Miami Marlins, but we're going to talk about this week. This week, the Marlins did get swept by the Cardinals, but then came back and won two out of three against the Chicago Cubs in Wrigley Field. Uh, pretty much all the plays are from Wrigley Field. There's nothing really interesting. No top five play worthy moment in St. Louis since the Marlins did get swept. I was very close to putting the Sandy Alcantara game, but that was a two minute highlight. And as well as um, we have to talk about Poteet and uh, Pablo Lopez, who had probably the best outings of their career, of their um of the season. And I would say Pablo Lopez best outing of the career of his uh marlin's career so let's get to play number five play number five was a very simple play it was the cody poteet highlights one great pitching game you know coming back from his injury looked a little bit shaky at a point where uh you know manual maddenly and the athletic trainer had to come out and check up on him he looked good and he finished it off pretty well he had a good game uh here are the highlights from play number five that's where he is trying to get the ball mostly away to right-handed hitters and in on the lefties he's not afraid to pitch in seemed to work out pretty well he strikes out happy he's got three in a row now well, this is the good breaking ball right talking about the consistency two strikes it's in the strike zone and then it's yes out by that hits the dirt with play number four we have something pretty similar it is Lewin diaz Lewin diaz did hit a home run and he hit a bomb so uh here is play number four from Lewin diaz Lewin Diaz, a high drive, oh. deep center field. This one is gone. Wow. Way up on the batter's eye. A huge home run for Lewin Diaz. Lewin, welcome to the party in Wrigleyville. My goodness. What a swing. He made contact, and I thought that it was, you know, the kind of response in the box to a long home run, but I couldn't believe my eyes at how far this ball went. 442 feet. Watch where this ball lands. With play number three, it's, it's I think, a very controversial one, but I think it's just where it should be, especially when you think about the other two plays or moments. Uh, play number three is the Adam Duvall Grand Slam. You guys are really going to be like, hey, the Housens is not number one. You'll see what I have for number two, number one. This was maybe another very, very hard um top five to really grade or to put in order since all these moments were just crazy and incredible. But here is the Adam Duval bomb grand slam that gave the Marlins um, the lead and eventually that game, which was the first game against Chicago. It ended 10 to 2. Well, no, here's have to play such a tight game tonight. And Adam Duval with the drive out to left field. This is gone. Grand slam. Adam Duval. That's the big hit the Marlins needed. Well, Adam Duvall has stepped into the spotlight so many times this season when this team has needed a big home run and delivered. He does once again on a Friday night in Chicago. Play number two, we have Pablo Lopez and maybe the best outing of his career. Didn't only allowed one hit in seven innings. And he, uh, no, it was a shutout. It was a shutout on his end. Then Anthony Bass came in, he allowed a homer. And then after Dylan Floro, uh, didn't allow a hit, didn't allow anything saved off the game. But we're talking about Pablo Lopez for play number two. Uh, here it is, guys. I mean, Pablo Lopez just dominated that game. Marlins, it is Pablo Lopez, his 15th start of 2021, coming off his shortest start of the season. A loss to Atlanta, three innings of work. Brown ball, Rojas, Jazz, and over to first. Pretty flat to me. Pablo gets the strikeout. 
And Pablo, 96 miles an hour, gets the strikeout. Called strike three. 97. 2-2 oh. from Pablo. Swing and a miss. 97 miles an hour. He strikes out the side. Another strikeout for Pablo Lopez. Ball on two strikes. And Pablo Lopez with another strikeout, his seventh. Yeah, Pablo feeling good, looking good today. Seven scoreless in just the one. final play. Uh, I mean, you guys should be wondering. Well, well, Adam Duvall's homer is gone. Is it John Birdie? No, it's Jesus Sanchez. He gets his first homer of the big leagues. This is just one of those great moments that we see. He was super happy after the press conference. He just looked extremely happy, and, and this is a good moment because us Marlins fans really love Jesus Sanchez. I know me, I love Jesus Sanchez as a player. Eli, I think. All of Fish Stripes loves him, and I know you Marlins fans love him as well. And this was just one of those moments where you're, you're it's kind of a sigh of relief. Like, all right, this guy's doing better than his first stint in the MLB. He has one hit. He He's just playing great baseball, man. He's just doing what he has to. And this is what we want to see from Jesus for sure, uh, making a name for himself and trying to stay in this MLB roster. Here's the homer, man. It, it, was, nothing, it was not a crazy homer, but it's just one of those moments where you just sit back and it's like a sigh of relief. Like, you know, we got it. We got it. Uh, here's the play. Payoff pitch from Brothers is lifted out toward left field. Back and gone. A home run for Jesus Sanchez. Jesus Sanchez connects on a home run. And the Marlins continue with their offensive outburst in Chicago this weekend. And the first Major League home run for the youngster. Well, congratulations to Jesus Sanchez. My goodness. That is one to remember in a ballpark to remember it here at Wrigley Field. Number one, lefty lefty matchup. The brothers challenges him with 95 up in the zone. And that's a pretty good example of the power we continue to hear about in triple a well folks that was your miami marlins top five plays of the week again make sure to like and subscribe follow us for more content like this and our miami marlins pre-game shows which are at the start of every new series once again the next one is on tuesday one hour before marlins versus blue jays i would assume i think it's at 605 not 710 but uh you know you'll find out probably on twitter or on instagram wherever you guys follow fish tribe social medias which Thankfully, there are many ways you could follow Fish Stripes. So once again, my name is Kevin Barral, uh, your Fish Stripes intern, and I'll see you guys next week, Monday, for the next top five plays. Hopefully, we have a lot, uh, one of those tight top five plays. Once again, peace out.